Hey learners, Pranshi Verma this side. Welcome to my channel guys. In today's YouTube session, we are going to learn Unit 5 from Geek Development. It is it's your elective subject to B.Tech Computer Science and Engineering final year. Okay. In this, Unit 5 syllabus is developing 2D and 3D interactive games using direct text on Python. Isometric and tile based games, puzzle games, single player games and multiplayer games. Okay. So, they all are the topics of Unit 5 guys. Okay. And I must say these are the very vast subject guys. Aap agar dhyan se and dhang se subject ko cover karte hai, to aapko bohat kuch padne milega and kafi interesting subject hai. But I think classes is par hui nahi hai. Elective subject ke multiple choice question answer bhi available nahi hai. So guys, I have searched topics this unit and I have searched the best data I will provide you in this video and I hope you will understand this video and I will like to say this to you you are covering multiple choice question answer anywhere it's totally up to you but please check the syllabus check and check according to multiple choice question and answer cover because one ही subject के two to three code university ने assign किए हैं and उसी के according आपका syllabus भी vary करता है, okay? So focus, so focus on your syllabus with the help of subject code as well as your theory of subject and as well as of your multiple choice question answer in your subject, okay? Now let's begin. In this, your first question is define direct text programming. Answer is direct text is an application program interface means API for creating and managing graphics, image, and multimedia effects in applications such as games or active web pages that will run in Microsoft Windows operating systems. Okay. Such an application program might be written in C++ or Visual C, C++, C Sharp or Java. The capability to play DirectX applications comes as an integrated part of Microsoft's internal explorer web browser. Okay, means a 3D player is optionally loadable. And the DirectX software development kit SDK. SDK stands for Software Development Kit. Includes tools that let a developer create on integrate graphics, image, overlays, sprites and other game elements including sound. There is also a driver development kit. Driver development kit means TDK. TDK stands for Driver Development Kit. That lets developer create drivers for display, audio, and other input-output devices. Okay. Next question. Tell why DirectX release on Windows. Answer is DirectX is a collection of APIs used in Windows for multimedia and video programs, and is especially important to gamers. The DirectX diagnostic tools display a wealth of information about DirectX and also lets you perform basic diagnostic tests on the DirectX system. Okay, next question. Describe what is Direct 3D. 3D means three dimensionals. Direct 3D is a graphics application programming interface API for Microsoft Windows. Okay, focus on it. Direct 3D is a graphics application programming interface for Microsoft Windows. This part of DirectX, Direct 3D is used to render three-dimensional graphics in application where performance is important such as games. Okay. Next question. Define game loop. Answer is a game loop runs continuously during gameplay. Each turn of the loop, it processes user input working blocking, updates the game state, and renders the game. It tracks the, the passage of time to control the rate of gameplay. This pattern decouples progression of game time from user input 
एंड प्रोसेसर स्पीड ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन पॉइंट आउट वॉट इज एन इंटरेक्टिव गेम आंसर इज डिजिटल गेम्स इज द अम्ब्रेला टर्म फॉर इंटरेक्टिव गेम्स दैट आर प्लेड ऑन डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक मीडिया दस इन कंपासिंग कंप्यूटर गेम्स वीडियो गेम्स गेम्स ऑन मोबाइल फोन एंड गेम्स दैट आर प्लेड ऑन द इंटरनेट A digital game can be defined as an interactive rule governed system based on computer processing power. Interactivity means that the game requires a constant exchange of messages between the game and its player. Okay, next question. Differentiate between 2D and 3D interactive games. Answer is now benefits of 2D design. First one is Simple control 2D games are more suitable for beginners so they have a wider target audience and second benefit of 2D game is easy in making not only is it easier to develop a 2D game it's also much cheaper and faster the same goes for any game updates needed later on okay next benefit is simple instructions 2D games are perform as time based chores the super popular hyper casual games are predominantly two dimensional okay now benefits of 3d design first one realism hardcore games who devote hours to playing every day prefer the more immersive experience offered by three dimensional games high quality of graphics okay second one is high quality of graphics in this some 3d hd high definition games are real works of art where the players can spend hours just exploring the nuances of the world okay next one is versatility 3d can touch be used to create games of different genres and most of those games will give players some freedom of actions compared to 2d games they have more complicated missions and just more options in general okay next question explain open gl answer is open gl is an application programming interface api that exposes hardware features needed to create computer graphics unlike microsoft's direct 3d which only works on windows open gl works across all platforms Open GL game programming is a complete guide to game development using the Open GL graphics API. Myriad examples are included to demonstrate various concepts such as coloring, texture mapping, blending, lighting, coordinate transforms, 3D modeling, collision detection, and several other key concepts involved in game development. It also covers how to integrate the non-graphical elements of Microsoft to DirectX into OpenGL. Okay, games so that users can incorporate sound, music, and networking functions. Next question: Generalized tile-based games. Answer is: A tile-based games is a game that uses tiles as one of the fundamental elements of play. Traditional tile-based games uses small tiles as playing pieces of pieces for gambling or entertainment games. Some broad games use tiles to create their board, given giving multiple possibilities for board layout or allowing change in the board geometry during play. Each tile has a back, means undifferentiated side and a face side. Okay. Domino tiles are usually rectangular twists as long as they are wide and at least twists as wide as they are thick. So games exist with square tiles, triangular tiles and even hexagonal tiles. Okay. Next question. Differentiate single player and multiplayer games. Answer is the main difference between multiplayer and single player games is pretty obvious. Multiplayer games are played online live with other people and single player games are played alone okay for fans of either there's an incredible amount of choice and many games are available to play in single or multiplayer modes okay next question summarize puzzle games answer is a puzzle is a game problem or toy that tests a person's 
ingenuity or knowledge okay in a puzzle the solver is expected to put pieces together in a logical way in order to arrive at the correct or fun solution of the puzzle there are different genres of puzzles such as crossword puzzles word search puzzles number puzzles relational puzzles and logic puzzles and many 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 more next question examine what is single player games answer is a single player games is usually a game that can only played by one person while single player mode is usually a game mode designed to be played by a single player so the game also contains multiplayer modes okay guys now let's find out this lecture see you in the next video make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates and thanks for watching this video now your unit 5 is complete and unit 1 to 4 is already uploaded on my channel kindly check it bye bye all the best